I am at about 6,600 feet at the moment, so I've been climbing a little while. I actually get to the highest point in Oregon today, so that's something exciting. I think it's just over, oh, I want to say 7,600. But yeah, I'm at about 6,600 at the moment, so I've got another 1,000 thousand feet to climb. And the terrain's not been too terrible. It started off with no snow at all for about half a mile. <laughs> and then I got to patches of snow like this. So I've kind of been walking on snow for the last hour or so. But it's not too bad, it's not too deep. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it won't get much worse. But I have a feeling it's gonna get a little bit thicker the higher I go. But I've got my micro spikes just in case because what's happened is the snow has frozen because it's so cold. So at least I've got those if there's any little sketchy bits. So today, the thing I am not gonna miss about trail life is sleeping in a sleeping bag with all my electronics around me. <laughs> it's such a nightmare because I have my power pack which charges all my devices. I've got my camera batteries, my Garmin in reach, my mobile phone, my water filter, all in the sleeping bag with me every night. And every time I roll over in the night, it's like such an effort to move everything around or kicking things with my feet. So when I get home, just not having any devices around me is gonna be something very nice indeed, that's for sure. It's just, I don't know, you have to do that because otherwise your batteries get so cold in the night that you, they just drain and you lose your charge. So it's one way of keeping them a bit more charged up than normal. I mean, they still get cold during the day, but at least at night they're, they're staying warm so you can keep the charge on them. And the one thing I am gonna miss about trail are the trail angels because I got to a spot last night and saw a water cache and it was amazing because it meant I didn't have to then hike another seven miles. I was utterly exhausted last night when I got to camp because my ankles were killing me, they were so sore because I've been walking on snow all day and it's that kind of semi-frozen snow which means that every other step your foot's going to twist or tilt or go down a hole or something. So it was pretty exhausting yesterday. I did about 20 miles, which I don't think is too bad in the circumstances. But yeah, I was utterly exhausted last night and I got there about just before five o'clock and the thought of having to do another couple of hours, oh, I was just to get to water. Or I did have enough water, I could have dry camped because I could have eaten like snack bars, but it was nice to actually have a proper meal. I had like couscous with nuts and seeds, some beans. And then I also had a cliff bar and some almond butter as well for my fats. So I ate well last night and that's because the water was there. So I don't know who put the cash there, but I am very grateful because there was no names on it. So I can't thank you personally, but yeah, it's things like that that make it a huge difference. And especially this time of year, I wasn't expecting it to be so full. There were so many large gallons there. It was, it was incredible. So I will miss the generosity and the kindness of trail angels when I'm back at home. <laughs> so if people start offering me sweets and food as I'm walking down the street, I have to remember to say no to strangers. <laughs> It's been tough going again this morning, walking in the snow that's frozen, but it's been kind of nice because there's been footprints and I've not seen footprints for a very long time. So whoever it was is obviously taller than me with a bigger stride. <laughs> so I'm kind of stretching as I'm walking and the footprints have actually frozen. So every now and then they're a little bit icy, but it saves walking completely in the snow. So I am looking a little bit rosy cheeked, I think, because <laughs> of the uphill. I'm nearly at the top, but the highest elevation so far, which I think I get up to about 7,300. And then later on, I'll get up to just under 7,600, which is the highest point. But I've just looked to my left as I've been walking through a gap in the trees and seen my first view of Diamond Lake.
I've just come round the corner and I've got my first view of Mount Thielson, which is apparently one of the tallest mountains peaks in the area. There is a side trail that goes up to the top, but I think I'll leave that for today. <laughs> This is quite a journey <laughs> and now I'm going over here to the trail on the other side. Oh blimey. finally made it to Oregon's highest point on the PCT. Oh my goodness, this snow has been relentless today. I'm going to try and make my way down. 